of the university, Dr. Quentin T. Ross, Jr. Then we'll have the provost, the chief, chief academic officer, Dr. Carl Pettis, and then the superintendent of the Montgomery Public School System. Mr. President. Thank you and good morning to everyone. Thank you all for being here. It's a great time to be a Hornet. And today is especially great. Today I would like to announce the largest federal grant in the history of Alabama State University that has been received here on this campus. The ASU gained early awareness and readiness for undergraduate, undergraduate program, better known as Gear Up. We're excited about this award and particularly excited because this speaks to several of our anchors in our new strategic plan, one of which is academic excellence. The other is community. This grant will allow us to do what we do day in and day out, which is to provide opportunity to young people to pursue higher education here at Alabama State University and to pursue higher education uh, throughout uh, the state of Alabama. So we're excited and I'm just so thankful for all of those that worked so hard uh, on this grant. I would like to thank our provost, Dr. Carl Pettis, uh, his assistant, Dr. Tangela Petty, uh, associate provost, uh, Dr. Wakessa, and others who worked extremely hard to get this award. I'd also like to thank our congressional delegation uh, because of course they support uh, the things that we think are necessary uh, to ensure the viability of our institution. And again, I'd like to start by saying that, uh, finish by saying this is a great time uh, to be a Hornet. We're excited about this opportunity. We're excited about the opportunity that we provide for so many young people uh, here in the Montgomery Public Schools uh, and throughout uh, the Tri-County area, giving them the tools that they need to gain access to higher education. At this time, I'd like to call to the podium uh, our provost, Dr. Carl Pettis. Good morning, everyone. Uh, and I appreciate uh, President Ross's uh, introduction. Uh, and he noted the fact that this was the largest uh, federal award that Alabama State University has received. And I'm, I'm sure uh, folks want to hear the number. Um, but I thought he led off well with the notion that this provides opportunity and the fact that it anchors, it follows one of our anchors from university, something that he brought to Alabama State University. Um, so without further ado, I'll, I'll announce the fact that this award is a seven-year award in the amount of $24.7 million. This effort would not be possible uh, without the work of my uh, co-principal investigator, uh, Dr. Kennedy Wakessa, who serves as the associate provost, Dr. Tangela Petty, who serves as the assistant uh, provost for student success and special initiatives, and also the work of Ms. Alice McLean. From, the off from our office, the Office of Academic Affairs. Our team at Spectrum Red did a wonderful job to help bring this to fruition as well. Out of 156 applications for this partnership award, there were only 27 awarded. All of those awards had perfect scores. So this was quite competitive. This was a quite competitive award from the U.S. Department of Education. Um, through this, uh, we, will, we will focus on student outreach, which is something that certainly is not new to Alabama State University. Everyone is very familiar with the, the efforts of the university uh, down through the years. Um, and that is something that we hope to continue through this effort. It is a cohort program, so we will focus on sixth and seventh grade students and follow them through their matriculation to their first year of college. Uh, we will be able to expose them expose them to various things, hard skills as well as soft skills, um, but with the goal of them matriculating and becoming better academically and scholastically. Um, and with that, I'll invite uh, Superintendent Dr. Moore. Thank 
Thank you so much, uh, President Ross. It is uh, always so exciting uh, for a superintendent to hear that something is going to happen that is really great for the students in the school system. This is another opportunity for Montgomery Public Schools. And I always see all of those opportunities that we offer to our students as opportunities also for the community to grow and to thrive. Our students have been involved with Gear Up for a number of years. We were involved with it with another university, and now we're gonna be involved with ASU. Wonderful to have it here locally. Uh, we want to express our thanks because we are always trying to increase our graduation rate. We are trying to increase the number of students who go to college. We are trying to increase those who are ready for careers outside of college. This gives them an opportunity to be exposed to the different avenues of accomplishing those goals. So I'm so happy to be here today with ASU and to know that something wonderful is happening not only here at the university, but that it will also involve our students in Montgomery Public Schools as another way to help them meet their goals in life. So thank you so much. We appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, we uh, will entertain questions from the news media. Any questions? Okay, if Dr. Ross could um, speak, if you could speak to the fact of $24 million, um, talk a little bit about the process. Do, when will this start? When will these kids start to be tracked? And um, how soon can we see this come to fruition? Well, of course, I'm not the expert, Dr. Pettis <laughs> is, but I, but I do understand that uh, we've already uh, began for an October award, yes, uh, and so really the work starts now with Dr. Pettis. The president is correct. The work does start now. Um, our first, uh, first of many initiatives will be to hire a uh, project director, as well as a project coordinator. Uh, through this uh, project, we will, ASU will actually hire 11 employees uh, to work uh, with the project. Um, the beginning will be, of course, with those hires, but then also uh, filling the seats for our advisory board. Um, it is the hope uh, that the activities will begin or initiatives will begin late spring, early summer. Talk a little bit about how long this work has been going on and that it's finally coming to fruition. How long have you all been working on this? So we've been working on this initiative for a little over a year now. Uh, the planning, uh, ASU was actually contacted by several entities um, looking towards partnering with the institution to work towards this, this partnership or even apply for a state initiative. Uh, it was decided to go after a partnership award um, and we're, we're quite pleased to be successful in that venture, um, but a little over a year in terms of working on this. How many children or how many kids in the seventh grade will facilitate or will you all be able to, to bring into the program? Uh, nearly 4,500 students will be affected by this, by this project. And then over the life cycle, um, we're looking at over 26,000. President Ross, can you talk about the community's arm and how that played a part in this grant? Well, as I stated before, Alabama State University day in and day out seeks to uh, provide opportunity not only for its students but for the surrounding community and throughout the state. And through our, this just happens to be a perfect uh, you know, storm coming together in terms of the grant uh, being awarded at the same time that we have uh, just released our strategic plan, which one of our anchors is community. And so because we seek to partner, because we seek to provide opportunity, uh, all of those things I think played into uh, our ability to put together a grant that was going to be seen as something that would be all encompassing uh, for our young people and to continue to provide uh, the excellent uh, education and guidance that we provide on a daily basis. Ken, if we could, can I, um, we get Dr. Moore, want to ask her a question about? Yes, sir. Good morning, Dr. Moore. Um, just talk a little bit about this being an added tool that you can add to the toolbox for MPS. Well, you know, in MPS, student achievement is one of the big um, um, things that we've been working on in the last, I'd say, four or five years. And so 
with this particular grant, not only do we help students prepare for the ACT, we help them work with the Korean College Readiness, uh, getting ready to fill out all their applications for financial aid and some other things as they get into college, how to write a resume, and uh, just visiting colleges. And so this is an opportunity that many of our students would not have otherwise. Um, this is a resource for them, and I think it's going to be very beneficial for our students. Any other questions for any of our, yes, Mr. Casey. The, the 4,500 or so students who will be involved initially, how, how will they be picked and, and how, what will be the one-on-one -on -one contact with them? Dr. Cousins? Good question. It's actually not about picking. Uh, the fact that they are sixth and seventh grade students in the Montgomery Public School System, they, they will be a part of this initiative. That total comes from that, that cohort of students. And what will be the, uh, how, how will you engage these students? Will the, will the, will the uh, people hired here go to the schools or what? Just tell a little bit more about how. how there, will there will be six site facilitators that will um, uh, matriculate through the schools. Um, also working in conjunction, of course, with uh, the superintendent and, and NPS in general, um, working through things. We also have a number of partners, community partners, as well as four-year and two-year institutions, because this is about college readiness. So there will be exposure uh, on the campus of Alabama State University, also on the campus of Auburn University, Tuskegee University. Um, we've also partnered um, through the efforts of, uh, of Dr. Petty, working with our community colleges, um, Coastal, uh, Coastal as well as Wallace Selma and Southern Union will be a part of this initiative as well. Um, through efforts of Dr. Wakessa, working with our colleges on the campus of Alabama State University, they will be treated as partners just as the uh, four and two year institutions that I mentioned. So our College of Business, our College of Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics, um, our College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences, College of Visual and Performing Arts, as well as our College of Health Sciences, will all, we all have initiatives. And as we move forward over the course of the seven year project, we hope to add to our, our list of partners as well. You talked about how competitive it was. Um, talk a little bit about um, how you all felt when you found out that as competitive as it was that you all had received the grant. How did you all feel when you found out? So in, in terms of this team, we, we've done a lot of work in, as it relates to federal as well as state awards. Um, quite honestly, uh, Dr. Wakessa in his 20 years, Petty and I in our 15, 17 years or so, never been a part of something that had a perfect score. Um, so I, I, would, I would be remiss if I didn't say that uh, it brought a smile, smile to our faces. Um, but, but with that comes a, a great sense of responsibility as well, uh, in terms of making sure that this initiative, uh, we make it whole and we make it beneficial to the students of the Montgomery Public School System. Any other questions? Uh, let me say that uh, as soon as I get back to my office, I have a, a complete news release for each one of you. I, I know all of you members of the media that are here that have some more details in it, and it will be forthcoming. We thank you very much for being with us at Alabama State University.